So today we're going to be reading Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. It really does illustrate the fact that without faith, no one is going to be able to please God. Now, there's a lot of different definitions of faith, different formulas to faith. Um, I actually talk about it quite often. Um, a, a world popular um, formula or equation for faith is um, if you can perceive it um, and believe it, then you can receive it. And that's usually like the word of faith prosperity gospel type of formula for faith. But the Bible tells us something that's drastically different from what the word of faith preachers and teachers um, teach today. You know, faith is not about perceiving something and believing it and therefore you can achieve it because quite frankly, if that's true, then I perceive a lot of different things in my life, whether it's good or whether it's bad. And I have yet to achieve those things because if it's not in the will of God for you to have them, it's just not going to happen. So I will have a million dollars in my bank account and I perceive it. I believe it. But if it's not God's will, it's just simply not going to happen. So that formula from the Word of Faith preachers cannot be biblically accurate. What is indeed biblically accurate by the definition of faith is written in Hebrews 11 verse 1. And it reads, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This is the faith that the writer of Hebrews is saying that is without this one, it's impossible to please God. So the definition of faith was written by the Apostle Paul. He explained it a little bit um, back in Romans chapter 8. And I'm going to read verse 23 and 24. And it says, Not only that, but we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves, grown within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? So this is faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And what do we hope for? The redemption of our bodies. The adoptions of the son, the sons and daughters of God himself. This is faith. That we stand with perseverance and with expectation, with hope. That which we do not see. We don't see the redemption of our bodies and the adoption of the sons in fullness just yet. But that is faith that we hope in that thing that we don't see. We hope for the substance of the redemption and the uh, redemption of the body and the adoption of the sons of God. And we also hope for what we don't see. This is an expectation that we still wait for. We are still waiting for Christ's return. We are still waiting for all the promises of God to be fulfilled in the end times. That we may, may, may see God face to face as it declares in, Re in the book of Revelation. We are still waiting for Christ's return. That is the substance of things so forth. That is the evidence of things not seen. It's not fancy cars. It's not money in the bank account. It's not any of that. True faith is believing that God is going to fulfill everything he says he's going to fulfill that's written in this good book. And that we should hope for what we do not see by standing and believing that God is. But Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. What God is saying in Hebrews 11 verse 6 is not to have faith in those materialistic things that perish, that fade away, that are temporary, but have faith in the everlasting God who is from everlasting to everlasting, who will neither, who will neither die, who will neither uh, go away. He is forever. He is eternal. That is who we should be having hope and faith in because it's in God that we will be able to persevere and to stand till the end 
And then the crown of righteousness is laid up for those who endure to the end, the word of God says. So we must believe that God is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Not seeking what his hand provides, but seeking him because of who he is, the eternal God. He said that it's impossible to please him, but those who come to God must believe that he is. And he is. Who is he? He is I am who I am. Thanks for watching. Comment below and share your thoughts on today's verse. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and click on that bell notification so you won't miss any new content that's released. If you would like to help us put more videos out like this one, click on the link in the description where you can donate to the ministry. We appreciate your generous donations that help us to get the truth of God's word to all people all across the world. If you have any questions for myself or 1-1 Outreach Christian Ministries, feel free to write us. The link is also in the description. Thanks for watching and helping us to proclaim the gospel, spread the love of Christ, and advance the kingdom of God. I'll see you next time.